Welcome back everyone. So we're actually back in Jane Lee's house and as you can see, I've cured my blindness. I got laser eye surgery for 20 quid. <laughs> I do wish, but I'm not putting the glasses on because do you want to see what it looks like when I have my glasses on and this ring light on? Look at the state of that. So that's why I'm not wearing the glasses. I might look like a stranger to you guys but we're going to be going through a vintage haul and we also picked up some goodies from the charity shop as well today the charity shops today were actually very expensive and i didn't get any footage because i was just taking photos for a tiktok so if you use tiktok it's alex resells with a z after the x so alex z resells and my tiktok's up there of when we went to the charity shops but i've got this big massive road to go through for the vintage haul so you better stay tuned if you want to see what bargains i got now you can already see that first package there that is basically how it turned up in the impost lockers and i've already put a refund request in for that because the shoes are ripped at the front so i wouldn't be able to sell them so they'll be going back anyway and i'll just send them back like that with the shoes hanging out because that's how i received them Nah, I'm only joking. I'll go through the vintage haul first and then I'll show you the charity shop finds and then I also recorded sales that I've went through on the week and I'll pop that in at the end if you want to see that as well. But let's get the first item out. Let's pull them out. And that's right, they're the Nike Mercurials. Now they were quite nice, like when you'd look at them, that's a pure bargain for a fiver. And then, where is it? Dun, dun. Dun. Look at that, a big chunk of a slice at the top of the trainers. Now if anyone plays football, you know, if, you're, if your football boots went like that, they're done for. To sell on, I would not be able to sell these because that condition's just far too bad. And I'm not even, I can't even glue it down either. So I think the other shoe was all right. I think it had a little chip in it, but, but these cost me five pound and they're going back. And I can't really remember what all the parcels are, so when I'm opening them, I've actually got no idea because I've tried to keep them to go through in this video. On the bed to go. Now, I think these are another pair of shoes. I think these are a pair of Nike, so let's get into this one. Hopefully it's better packaging this time. It's looking good already. Whoa. Wowzers. Now, I can't really... Well, I can't really remember what the specific type of shoe this is. I think it's like Night Quest or something. But I'll pop up and... So I've had to equip the mic because I just realised that it's probably been buzzing because of the LED light that I've got in. So hopefully you can hear me with the mic. But yeah, pick these up. These were £10 plus fees, so that probably came to about £12-£13, so not bad. And they'll get flipped into about £30. No holes or tears or anything, so pretty decent. And now we've got the double parcel as well, so this is the only piece of clothing that I actually got. So let's open this ready. As you can see, if you've already seen that, it is a Call of Duty hoodie. And if you've been watching me for long enough, you know that I've sold one of these already. So, spotted this on Vinted. And try and guess how much that set me back. One quid. One pound that hoodie cost me. And then I was like, oh, I wonder if there's anything else in their shop. Because with the Call of Duty stuff, usually they're just clearing out, like, their son's old Call of Duty stuff. And I was like, I wonder if they've got anything else in there. Oh, they did. A bloody t-shirt. Oh, my God, I've almost just fell back. So they've got the t-shirt and the hoodie exactly the same. What a bargain. And these both cost me £1 each, so... That'll be £2 into about £40-£50 because the hoodie usually goes for about 30 and I can usually push £15-£20 on the t-shirts so 
not bad at all. Especially the Model Morphe 3 ones, they're the best ones to look out for that I've noticed anyway when selling them. Just giving you all my tips out here. So I've got the football boots, the Nike high tops, court Sutton, and then the two Call of Duty clothing. That leads us on to this box, which I actually can't remember what it is. Oh, and I had a little Miss Millie's chicken for my dinner, so I've got indigestion, so sorry about that. Right, I've got the box open. Are you ready? Can you see them? Nice little blue pair of shoes, this. Now I remember what I bought. Yes. That's probably the best find out of the lot, to be honest. And once again, I can't remember what the exact shoe's called, but I mean, if you know your shoes, then you've probably seen these before. And I'll pop up on the screen uh, what the shoe is, but I'm really bad for these videos because I find all this stuff on Vinted, like, do the research on it, know what they are, and then when I do the video, like, a week later, I always forget, like, what actual shoe this is. So yeah, so I've quickly done some research on them again, and it's the Nike Blazer, the Nike Low Blazers in the nice blue colour. Now, these are from 2012 as well, so they're literally over 10 years old, and they're still in pretty good condition. No holes at the back, she said they've been hardly worn, so pretty decent, and they're in quite a big size. So I don't know if you can see the tag in there, but what I always look for when I buy off Vinted is... Always check the heel, so if there's any holes here, always check, like, see around the shoe at, like, these bits to make sure there's no peeling. And then if the soles are worn as well, which these are hardly worn. Just a little bit of dirt on them and a little bit of piss on them, but that will come out with a little wash. But apart from that, pretty decent. And I think that sums up the little vintage hole there. So I think I spent... Five pound on these, five pound, or well, the football boots actually, I'll just count them out because they're getting returned. So, five pound on these, ten pound on these, and these are in very good condition. They're literally just that bit of crease, that's the only thing that's wrong with these is the creasing. And then the college to jumper and t shirt. So, realistically, I'm looking at getting like 30, 40 pound back on these. 30, 40 pound back on these. These are just like my highest offer. I'm not saying that is what I'll sell them for. And then I'm looking at getting <clears throat> probably about 30 pound for the college at hoodie and then 15, 20 pound for the t shirt. So I don't know how much profit that is. Do the mental maths in your head and let me know. But now I'll go through the charity shop finds and show you what we got today. So now we've got the charity shop haul, which is in this bag. So, sorry I didn't get any clips in the charity shop, but this video was meant to be just a vintage haul. So, now it's a vintage haul, charity shop haul, and then my sales at the end of the video. So, it's a nice big video for everyone to watch. Now, they had some pretty cool t-shirts in this charity shop. And it was the one charity shop that we went in, that was the only one that we bought stuff out of. And I think we went into like four charity shops. There was just one charity shop that was massive and it had like so much stuff. I'll actually pop some prices up on the screen. They had this bowl set, that sport called bowls, and it had the fucking, you know what I mean. But they had like a set of them in and they were £250. Now, I've never seen an item in a charity shop go for 250 quid, And that's the first time I've ever seen that. So I'll pop it up on the screen and let me know if you think that was worth it. Because I even searched them up and I don't think that's worth it at all. But apart from that, this charity shop we went into is usually the more expensive one. And for some reason, the prices weren't really that bad, so I'll give it to them. But first of all, picked up this Joker t-shirt. I just thought the print on it was quite cool. I don't know what the brand is. It's So it's that one there, Junk Food. Now, I don't know what that brand is, but I just thought it looked pretty cool. And for £5, I thought, why not pick it up? get it on Depop or Vinted, I'm sure someone will snatch that up. And then we've got my favourite t-shirt I found. Now I was really hoping that this was going to be in my size, but unfortunately it is a medium, but it's just a really small medium. I'd say it's more of a small than a medium, but ET. I've been looking out for this in the charity shop as well for a while. One of my favourite movies, and I had never actually seen the movie until I went with Jamie Lee in the Odeon like two years ago. Mm -hmm. 
and it, I can't add, well, one thing I can say is I can't believe I've never seen it before because it was minted, but that only cost me £4, so I'll probably sell this as well because it definitely won't fit me, so I don't know how much I'll get for it, but I thought that was quite a cool find and I did not want to leave that out. And I think the person that donated all these must have been the same person because there was loads of movie t-shirts in there. And that's why the next one, they're all t-shirts as well, is Casper the Ghost. I just thought that was quite a cool print as well, as you can see. And that one, shit, my book, only £2.50. So that was the cheapest out of them all. But I think this is a, a newer version of it. I think it's from 2021 or something. I do think they still sell for like £15 on eBay, so not that bad considering it was £2.50. But I just thought all the t-shirts were cool and I just wanted to pick them all up. And now we've got the best find of the century. But Jamie Lee found this really cool vase for some flowers. Look at this. Whoa. The pure disco balls flashing about the joint on that light. I wonder if it... Nah, I can't really see it flashing, but... It's just a, a vase for some flowers. How cool is that? Lovely stuff. And that was only £4. And it was on the floor, so it was lucky that we found it. Because we never usually get down on the knees and look, look on the floor for But yeah, so I just noticed as well that the microphone hasn't been turned on for the last remaining part of that video. So... I was basically just saying, if you did like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Please comment and let us know back. Okay. Right? Yeah. Cheers, LOL. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Ali, fix yourselves, right? It's me and my girlfriend are from Scotland and love still gay. Amazing that. <laughs> That Connor, amazing that Connor watches the show. It's a hilarious show. We always look forward to watching you both. Thanks for the amazing videos. Yeah, I know. It's hilarious. <laughs> I love the character you said it was called Manky Frankie. Yeah. That's what I'm going to call you when you stink. I'm going to call you Manky Frankie. <laughs> Alright, listen. Knock it out here. Give me two. Uh, We've got another sale, and it's the Virgin TV remote that we got from the car boot sale. So that's both remotes that I've picked up for £1 each, and this one sold for 12 and I think the other one sold for 10 So £22 from £2. That's a bargain. So another sale came in today, which was these Nike Flyknit trainers that I did pick up off Vinted for £5, plus like the fees and stuff. So these sold on eBay for £37.99. And I didn't actually realise, but these were the shoes that were worn by Kanye West or something. So these were like the only fly knits that Kanye West wore. When I searched up on eBay, that's what everyone was putting in their titles. So I put that in my title and they sold within like four days. So pretty decent. And they're in good condition as well. Probably just need a, a bit more of a clean, but not bad, I must say.